Is this the update we all thought we were going to get? Is it really at the end of the day? Ask yourself that. Survivor, killer, doesn't matter the role. Is this fun? Is this compelling gameplay? I ask you. What's up, guys? Mr. Games back again for another Gims rant. Hope everyone's doing all right. Uh, I've been streaming. I've been playing this update, the, the latest endurance meta update. Uh, I don't know, man. I'm still not feeling it after hours of been playing it uh i've played solo queue i've played survivor friends i've played a shit ton of killer there's just one universal truth about it all honestly and uh I, I hope everyone resonates here with me or at least some people in the comment section uh if you play like an asshole as killer if you solo if you tunnel if you camp if you take out somebody really early in the game you're gonna win every game <laughs> I'll do it again, Nuna, 100%. Oh, you're so cool. You're so good. Well done. Let's go for a slug. Slug. Truly, a truly immersive, dynamic experience. It's pretty obvious. I mean, I've tested this on Unreo. I've tested this on Legion. Uh, I've tested it on Nurse to do the, you know, the obvious extreme. And yeah, if you just play like an asshole, You've won the game. You've got it good. And I hate being a killer main, even though I'm sort of more 50-50 lately. And, you know, coming at you and saying that I think this update's more killer-sided because it's killer-sided in the way that if you, like I said, play like an asshole, tunnel, camp, get someone out early, then you're going to win every game. And it definitely benefits the killer for that. Yes, the gen perks have been nerfed. Yes, they've messed up. Ruin, pop... Pain Resonance, Tinkerer, they've gotten rid of them all pretty much and made them, you know, okay. They're not terrible. Um, so now the killer community has come together and realized, well, shit, we got to move fast and we got to play hard. And that is exactly what you're seeing within the community in the last two days, three days. It's been unbelievable. You know what I mean? I'll go save. Straight for him. This is GG. Yeah, GG. Fuck. GG. It just ends so quickly in this matter. That's... I don't know. It can just end so quickly. That's my... It just feels... Like it can... If you just slug, you win now. With Survivor Friends, and I want to talk about that before solo, I find, yes, you have a better chance to win. Obviously, communication is a powerful tool within this game. The endurance matter is okay. It's fine. Um, off the record is a good perk, and Dead Heart is still usable. I've actually been using it. I haven't changed to another exhaustion perk yet. I've tried a couple of things, and they're okay, but Dead Heart is, seems to be even with the 0.5, a skill-based exhaustion perk. And if pulled off properly, you're fine. It works <laughs> as it says. So, you know, but Survivor Friends, it's fine. It's okay. It's definitely not been buffed. It's still where it is. It's still strong, but but even just playing with a group, you, you, you can really lose. I mean, I played with the Survivor Friends the other night with my admin and uh, I would get tunneled out, you know, three games in a row. It was just, it was just the way it is. <laughs> so to me, that said, you know, killers still got a really good chance in this game if they just play like an arsehole. And when I'm, I'm saying play like an arsehole, I hope I'm not triggering anyone. I'm just, you're playing hard. We'll call it playing hard. Playing hard. Because there's nothing wrong with it, I guess, if that's how you want to play and that's what you get enjoyment from. Personally, I don't. But, um... That's just my opinion. And now to solo. I feel solo has absolutely just been shoved in the dirt on this one. Uh, not thought about not thought about whatsoever, and it's clear. This Sadako is fucking ruining us. Oh my god, you're going down. DC against Sadako. DC against Sadako. DC. Oh, 
GG. Uh, you have no information, and there's information coming apparently. Apparently there's an update where we're going to get solo help. Uh, but as a solo, with gens going longer, no one making saves, the killer being really, really aggressive and playing hard, I'm not having fun with it at all. There's little enjoyment to be had with solo, where I've always been a massive fan of, of solo queue. I, I find it brings you closer to the experience of Dead by Daylight than the way it should be, the way it was designed. Obviously, I'm not against Survivor Friends. If you want to play with your friends, it makes sense to me. You want to have fun playing a game, playing with each other. That makes sense. But solo queue to me is always something I've enjoyed. I've always been a solo player in things that I play. Um... But it has definitely been left behind, surely, and this definitely shows the bumps in the road more so than ever with this new update. As for the grind, trash, I, un I understand that they're going to fix it down the road. Right now, getting an iridescent add-on at all in any blood web won't happen until you're level 40 in the blood web, and you're just going to fill up and stock up on what commons and yellows. And uh, it's just really annoying because obviously it's great on the other hand that you have all the perks apart from the basic perks, which is still annoying because you still got to farm all those up. There's still blood points going into the game. It's still a grind, but it's definitely better. But the blood webs, I know they're going to get fixed, are really trash right now. And um, this should have been rolled out with the update. And if not rolled out with the update, rolled out super quick. Um, there's been a lot of bugs in this update as well. A lot of problems. Uh, they've already removed matchmaking incentives because the party leader of a Survivor Friends in a Survivor queue was getting the extra blood points, no one else. Um, that's a bit of a shame, really. Um, there's just all sorts of problems left, right, and center. And overall, with a tome that's just been released that has the same grind, the same challenges, the same things you have to do apart from an orange glyph yay it's just a very stale boring unimpressed unhappy experience i have people in my streams in my comment section that are genuinely unhappy with this update some people are a lot of people aren't in the you know grand scheme of things but anyway, guys, those are my thoughts. I want to know what your thoughts are. Please leave a comment down below. And please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe too if you've enjoyed this video or you enjoyed the conversation. I love talking with you guys. I always go back to you guys. I always want to hear what you guys have to say. Um, let us know in the comments below. Thank you so much for all the support on the streams and the videos. I've seen a lot of positivity. I absolutely appreciate it. Thank you so much. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one.